This is the party. Come on. Greetings, tribe, and welcome to another Snacking with Ortega. I am your host of Extraordinary Magnitude. Ortega Latrobe, and this is Denim Nation Noodles. Denim Nation Noodles is simply my take on a Kung Pao noodle dish. Why is that? Well, you see, I have these friends in a band called Kung Pao. They all wore denim, and their fan base was the Denim Nation. That's cool. It's very cool, actually. This is my tribute to the sauce and the band. Rock and peace, Joey D. Your ingredients for my noodle. I'll be using these lovely wide Japanese noodles. You may recognize them from hot chili oil shrimp. You can skip the protein and make this vegetarian if you want to. I don't want to. It's my food. It's my mouth. I'm going to do it how I want to. And tonight, I want to do it with beef. Celery. Carrot. Red bell pepper. Green onion. Dried Thai chilies. And then, uh, rice vinegar, soy sauce, uh, sesame oil, garlic chili paste, sugar, cornstarch, you know, all that stuff. And the highlight, the capper, the crunch. I'm gonna double nut this recipe. Try roasted and cashews. And one more thing. Before serving, we'll be topping it with fresh chopped basil. First thing we would need to do is prepare our noodles. It's a lot of water. A lot of water. Got some water boiling here. Let's add our noodles. One thing I love about these particular noodles, they're long and wide. Uh, they just take up a lot of real estate on your dish and they're nice and filling. Just gonna let these roll for a couple more minutes till they're nice and al dente. While waiting on those, let's build the base for our sauce. Soy sauce, sesame oil, rice vinegar, sugar, garlic chili paste. And this is the base for our sauce. Let's check our noodles, shall we? Beauty. Drain these off. Take another pan, get it up to a medium heat, and we're gonna cook off our vegetables and our beef. Green onion, celery, carrot, red bell. We're gonna keep this over a low to medium heat while we add in our beef. The beef I'm using here tonight is some thin sliced ribeye that I've cut down to some smaller pieces. Gonna season this up, a little adobo. A little ground white pepper. And some cracked black pepper. Mix that in. Just gonna lid this up, let it go low and slow for a few more minutes until that beef's cooked all the way through. Our meat and veggies are ready. Let's finish our sauce. We're gonna take some cold water and some cornstarch. Just gonna take, lid this little jar up. Shake this up real good. And that's gonna be our slurry. We're gonna take our sauce base that we put together earlier and get it over the heat. Bring it up to a boil. Add in our slurry. Reduce our heat and just let this thicken up. While that's tightening up, just gonna drop a few Thai chilies in there, kick up the heat level a little bit. So for portion control, I'm gonna use this mixing bowl to put it all together. Get some noodles. I'd say that's about a serving. Some of our beef and veggies. Just gonna slowly add the sauce. Check my ratios. Don't want to get it too saucy, but I want to make sure to get it saucy enough. To that, we're going to add some dry roasted peanuts and some cashews. Kaboom!
Mm. Now, just a little of this fresh basil on top. And from this day forth, this shall be known as Denim Nation Noodles. Yeah, baby. Let's just get into it. Gonna get some of those nice fat noodles. It's that good Thomas beef. A little bit of all those vegetables. Yeah, daddy. Now, of course, you can always add more garlic chili paste if you want to kick up the spice. I wanted to keep this one a little nice right here. Mm. All right, just get, yeah. When I have Kung Pao, the nuts are crucial. I have to have that texture change and a little bit of crunch. Using a little bit of the cashew here is really cool because it gives that little bit of sweet that kind of changes the flavor profile of your normal thing. And I think it's just a nice little uh, addition to the recipe. This may seem a little involved, it's not. It's really just measurements and mixing, and anybody can do that, because I can do it. Again, I'd like to thank the gentleman in Kung Pao for the inspiration and all the good times in the past. As I've eaten some of this down, I've started to get my sweat on. The spice level's right on point. It'll have you popping wheelies. Thanks for stopping by the house and spending some time with me today. I'm Ortega Latrobe, and you've been snacking with Ortega. I love Ortega's sauce. It makes my taco pop.